All right, so today I have a little bit of a suspension hack for those of you with Actis. Uh, these are KYB gas adjust shocks. Now, uh, I want, I wish I could just be like, yeah, you could just throw them on your Acti and they'll be great. No, we have to modify them a little bit to make them work, but I've thrown these on eight different Actis of my own and uh, 10 or 15 uh, friends of mine, I've put it on their trucks or vans as well. So I'm gonna walk you through how to install these. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about them and we're going to compare them to the stock size uh, just so you can see why you would want to upgrade to such a large shock and let me start off by saying this is not a fun install i mean it's very rewarding once it's done but it is on the difficult side but once you have it installed it rides great uh, feels great and you don't have to worry about putting extra weight in the back and bottoming out your Acti. Um, the shocks that I took off this are definitely bad. Um, they, I, you know, I can move them really easy by hand, so they might as well not be shocks. And this is your part number for the KYB shocks that you can modify and install in your Acti. I have to talk about the price. The price is considerably cheaper than even the replacements that are about that big around uh this this is a great uh money saver that's probably going to outlast your vehicle so let me pull off a stock uh rear shock and i'll show you the difference between the two all right so as far as removal goes the driver side is the easier side because the airbox isn't in the way but you for the lower bolt on the strut you have a 14 millimeter here the back side of the bolt it's a welded nut onto the uh, strut mount so uh, don't try and remove that you will break the welds and you'll kind of be stuck uh, up top you have two 12 millimeter bolts that go into the chassis uh, the outermost one kind of goes into the frame but when you remove those two bolts it removes the strut isolator or the strut top um, and then you can remove the whole strut so right off the bat, you can see a size difference. The old shocks are about a third of the size of the new shocks. Um, you can't really beat KYBs as far as uh, your budget, or I should say value goes. Um, they do say made in Japan on them, so that's pretty exciting. But uh, that's how you know you're gonna get some quality shocks on there. The things you have to remove. So the bottom of this strut, um, because it's designed for a different vehicle, the edge of this bushing here has to be removed. You actually, you only need the width. You wanna leave some of the bushing in there, but this width right here is pretty much the max you're gonna get just based on the size of the OEM one. So OEM's about that wide. Uh, combined together, um, it works out to about the same. So we're gonna cut off the edge of that bushing and then we're going to, um, change the top hat that's on the factory uh, strut. You could move it over, you could use the bushings, but this uh, shock, this KYB shock came with an upgraded uh, strut isolator. So that's what we're going to use just to beef this up even more. So I'll walk you guys through that. All right, so I have the first one cut and prepped. I cut the end, but you see all this melted rubber down the sides, it kind of looks like crap. So what I would highly recommend before you uh, cut the lower bushing, by the way, this is how much came off at each side. Before you cut the lower bushing, wrap the shock in painter's tape before you cut them. Um, I've done so many of these, and I'll be honest, I totally forgot to wrap that one. And I can clean it up a little bit, but it's gonna be a pain in the you know what. So uh, just wrap it in painter's tape and it'll keep it looking nice and fresh and new. Um, so I'm gonna cut this one real quick. I did prep this one. I put the shock isolator in the top. So I did need to cut the top of the stem or the strut bolt, um, or the strut stem. Did have to cut it off. Um, it was hitting the underside of the van when I tried to bolt it up. Um, that's okay. I've only had to do that on some. The other thing you could do is you could stack washers or bushings underneath. The problem with stacking washers or bushings is the more you push the strut down, the more you're gonna lift the van uh, or truck, the Acti itself, because the more, or I should go ahead and say this, these struts are always under load on this vehicle. So 
Um, it some people use these when they lift their vehicle to try and get like an extra quarter to half inch sometimes. Um, this is really good if you're if you're putting more weight in the back, that kind of thing. But you know, some people do say it raises the back a little bit. I'm okay with that uh, just because the ride quality is so much better. So yeah, I just cut the top of the stem after I got everything assembled and now it should bolt right in. Remember the tops are 12 millimeter bolts, the bottom is a 14. So the bottom, you can't just lift, uh, you can't just slide it into place, like take the old ones out. You actually have to put a lot of upward force on the base of it uh, and compress it into the, the rear cross member or the rear cross. All right, so once you have your lower bushing cut to assemble the top, you're going to want to take this uh, washer that holds the bushing, and you're gonna wanna put the fat end down of the bushing. You're gonna wanna slide it down like that. Now, you're gonna wanna reuse this old um, stay uh, washer. Basically what it does is inside the the strut mount or the top hat it keeps it from sliding right so it it fits in there like a nice little puzzle piece so you're going to want to put that on top before you place this on top basically so it doesn't shift you want to make sure you get it lined up then you're going to put a bushing on top Let's see if i can show you I'm gonna flip this and do the fat end up. You're gonna do a washer and then a nut. And after you crank this down, you're gonna you're gonna cut the stem. Just like that. All right, so one other thing that I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, some people do this, some people don't. I recommend doing this 100%. So this is the metal collar out of the bottom of your factory strut. What you wanna do is you wanna push this out and it's not gonna come out this pretty. You might have to chisel it out, but then you can use like a small torch or a little bit of fire. And once you catch the, the, uh, the rubber on fire around this, it let it burn for a little bit and then it'll, once it cools down, it'll scrape right off. So you're gonna wanna push this into the bottom of the strut. If you don't, the strut will rest on the lower strut perch and it'll make a clunking sound. Some people don't mind it, I mind it. So you're gonna wanna pull this out and put it in the bottom of your new strut. All right, so that metal sleeve that you pulled out of the factory strut is actually gonna go right here in the bottom of your new one. Now you can use pliers or something to push it in there. You can lube it up kind of up to you what you want to do but yeah you're gonna to want to push it in there flush and then put the strut in the bottom of the strut perch and then you can run your bolt through it it actually holds it slightly higher so that the base of the strut isn't quite touching the perch without it it'll rub right here and it'll make a little bit of noise all right so on the passenger side or the left hand side of an acti you're gonna to want to remove the rear wheel um, just to get better clearance to the top bolt. So the outermost one in the frame is really easy to get to, but that inner one, very difficult. So you're gonna wanna stack some 3 8 extensions with a 12 millimeter on the end to loosen it and remove it. You're gonna wanna run it in front of that rear cross member from the bottom to remove it. Now the bottom is a 14 millimeter, just like the other side. Uh, and it comes through this uh, strut mount. So. The advice I would give you for installing these, because they are under a lot of pressure, is once you build them, uh, take a jack and put the base of the strut in it after you get the top bolted and jack it up and then use a rubber mallet and kind of tap it into place. Once you tap it up and into, up and into this, the, uh, strut mount once you tap it up and in there you can remove the jack because it'll actually stay in there this is the base of the strut uh, while you throw a bolt through the side left hand side aka the passenger side on these things uh, is definitely much harder to install than the driver side but it's it's well worth it so uh, you're gonna run into clearance issues with the airbox and the charcoal canister on the side of the airbox um, 
I'm trying to squeeze it up in there, but be very careful. Tap the top uh, around a little bit until the bolts are perfectly even in there and you can run them in. They are difficult. I don't want you to cross thread them on your truck or van. Um, that would that would really suck, but uh, I will put the part number again right here on the screen. Uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, we will, um, I'll have more content coming out soon.